Hey everybody, it's Tia Faith at home, and today I'm going to let you guys know how we paid off over $90,000 worth of debt in a period of nine to 10 months. That is correct, we paid off $90,000 worth of debt in about 10 months. In order to do this, there were several things that we had to do and several things that had to change. First thing that we had to do is realize that we actually had a problem. Too many times when we were buying a car, buying furniture, appliances, just shopping, anything we were only concerned about the monthly payment we didn't even take into consideration what the total cost was we just knew that if we could afford the monthly payment it was all good there was no need to worry about anything else but then eventually you have so many monthly payments that you lose track of what's going in and what's going out and that was also something else that we had to do when we realized that we had a problem we didn't know where our money was going. We couldn't account for what we were spending and what we were spending it on. We had things because we just had things at that point. The second thing we had to do when we were paying off our debt was take an actual look at our finances. We had to track our spending to see where our biggest problem areas were. We identified that it was eating out, general shopping, and groceries. And then we had to look at how much we actually made and then we compared the two versus everything that was coming in, what was going out. So once we did that, we were able to have a better idea of what was actually going on with our finances. So first we realized that we had a problem. Second, we had to look at our finances. Three, we had to make a plan. And this included once we tracked our expenses and everything that we're taking out and bringing in, we meal plan, we came up with the budget. We had to be deliberate and intentional we tracked everything and we did this for months and it wasn't fun nor was it exciting but it just gave us a better idea of what was actually going on with our finances we also started looking at what we were doing did we need to go on three or four vacations a year or could we do one good vacation and do a vacation uh we, overall we were just intentional and deliberate about how we were living life and why we were living life that leads me to the fourth thing that we had to do and that was, we just had to start. Simple as that, start. Sometimes so many things fail because people just don't start. And it could have been very easy for us to take everything that we did, those other three steps that I mentioned, identifying we have a problem, looking at our finances, and then making a plan and do nothing with it. But because we were able to start, we were able to actually pay off the debt. And it was not always easy, nor was it always fun. We were overwhelmed at times. There were times that you wanted to do things. Uh, sometimes we had to say no to family and friends, even though we wanted to. But because we had a goal at the end of all of this, we just stuck with it and we were able to accomplish uh, paying off $90,000 in debt. And then the last step, this could be the fifth step or it could be just extra nugget, but you have to have a walk -in. Why are you doing this? Like, what's the point? What's the purpose behind it? My personal pur uh, purpose was to build generational wealth, find financial freedom, and never stress about money again. That's why we did it. But if, as long as you have a why, that's your reason to start and your reason to keep going. Like, don't give up. If there's a bump, go back and reset yourself but just find your purpose, find your motivation. My other why was so that I can also be able to help people out. There's so many of my friends who have started doing the, their free program once they realize that, hey, it is possible. Sometimes it just takes seeing someone you know to actually make you realize that you can do it and just keep going. And be that voice of encouragement or that sounding ear when times do get hard. So to recap, what we did to pay off our debt is we identified we had a problem, we looked at our finances, we made a plan, and we started. And once we started, we kept in the back of our mind the why behind why we were doing it. So if you have any questions about how we paid off our debt or if you want to get started, just let me know. I will go on and tell you that we did use Dave Ramsey's snowball method. I know there's other methods out there, but personal finance is just that. It's personal. So what worked for my family may not necessarily work for you and your family. 
But again, the most important thing is that you find your why and you start so that you can pay off your debt and have some financial freedom as well.